Hey everyone, welcome back to Optimize Ebony. Today we'll be continuing our free uh, gear, free general gear segment uh, with the archer gear. So again, this these guides only include Ares and Archaic gear. They do not include any of the Civ gear uh, that you can get by coining or from the Taiki's wheel. So yeah, for archer gear, obviously you want to prioritize archer buffs. And so you want to prioritize uh, archer attack, and uh, you also want to look at the set bonuses. So again, reminder of the set bonuses for Ares, you have uh, two of six, attacking troop attack uh, is 15%, um, and then uh, the four of six is not really important for uh for archers because it doesn't give any buffs at all besides non non target troop type so and it's only on monster so not not super important there uh and then let's look at the archaic gear um so again the important one is the two of six all troop attack plus ten percent um yeah so the main thing that you want to do is you want to optimize to get both of those set bonuses um and so there's there's a couple different ways to do it um, we'll talk, we'll kind of talk through that here. Um, so the, for the bow, for attacking, uh, there's really only one option. Uh, the Ares bow gives you range troop attack, marching range troop attack, uh, and march speed. Um, also throws in a, a marching ground troop defense, but uh, this ground troop attack and uh, marching range, or sorry, range troop attack and marching range troop attack uh, bonus is is way higher than than what you're going to be getting from an RK uh, bow um, so this is the only piece you should have for for the bow for a an archer gen then for the helmet uh, the fearless Ares helmet will give you range troop attack that's what we're targeting here again um, and none of the other things are, are super important. Some people like to mix range and siege. I wouldn't really recommend it, but if you do, this also has uh, siege, siege, siege attack uh, buffs. And that, that gives us our, our two of six uh, attacking troop attack set bonus. Um, so even just those two is a really good um, set there. And then I'll talk about some of the other pieces that are are very important here. Uh, one is the ring. Um, so the Fears, Fearless RK ring uh, is a really good archer ring. It has the range troop attack and range troop defense and then uh, enemy ground troop HP and mount troop uh, HP debuffs which especially for archers you you want that mount troop HP debuff because you're, you're usually when someone's high enough power that you're not going to kill them you're trying to kill as many of their uh, mount troops as possible and so lowering that that mount troop hp uh, buff for your opponent is is a really good way to do that and mount troop hp is a little bit difficult to get in gear so you can't just stack it in all of your subs unless you're using this ring um, so yeah this is a this is a, a super important ring uh, this is the best ring for for uh, Archer Attack. Uh, I when I did it, I did not actually use that one. I used uh, this one. So let's look at this one. Um, I used the Fearless Ares ring, which gives you range troop attack and march size capacity, um, and then uh, minus 33% mount troop attack. Uh, this you know it's it's okay uh you're you're missing out on that uh range troop defense buff and the the mount troop hp debuff as well but you do get a little bit more in march size capacity um but i would i would actually really recommend the the fearless uh, rk ring that we already looked at so then for uh the legs um I would recommend the Courageous Archimae uh, Leg Armor, 
uh, which gives you ranged troop attack, um, and then enemy mount troop attack. None of the other ones are super important, um, and that that fills out your your set bonus of, of two of six here. So then, um, for the chest piece, uh, I would recommend the courageous Ares armor chest piece. This gives you ranged troop HP here. Um, and that's really the only important thing here. Uh, it gives you a whole bunch of mount buffs that you're not really going to use, but it does give you that range troop HP, and so it's it's it still is a, a good option there. Um, and then for boots, you actually have two options here that are relatively similar. Um, when I built my my build, uh, because I had that Ares ring, I needed the fearless. Uh, RK boots to get my set bonus um, and that gives you the range troop HP plus 22% um, and also gives you an enemy siege uh, siege machine attack debuff and march speed um, that's it that's good um, there's also another option here which is the fearless Ares boots um, and the fearless Ares boots are have the exact same range troop HP um, and then they just have some more, some more attack stats, and then a, a march speed uh, as well. So really, these ones can go either way. Uh, if you're if you're close on your set bonuses and you need, you know, one more Ares or one more uh, RK gear, you can you can flip those uh, to whichever one uh, makes the most sense. Um, but yeah. Uh, that that works out there. Uh, let's look at the any other chess pieces that that you might you might have. Um, so yeah, let's look at the RK gear chess pieces. Um, this is one that I've seen people use before. Doesn't have any real purpose for range. No buffs for range. The only kind of positive thing is that it has a mount troop defense debuff. Um, but other than that, not, not anything good. Um, and then this one, again, doesn't really have anything, has Mount Troop defense debuff. Um, so, yeah, if you, if you have your Wonder open, um, and you can craft the, uh, Ares, uh, chest piece, definitely go for the Courageous Ares armor here. Uh, that's, that's the best one for here. Yep, so let me know if you guys have any other combos for this. This one's a little, you have a little bit more freedom here. Um, but I, I, in my opinion, this is this is kind of the best, uh, the best that you can do. And you can flip these boots to RK gear if you want, doesn't really matter. Uh, but the, the important ones are uh, these kind of five, the other ones uh, besides the boots. The boots you have flexibility with. Yeah, let me know in the comments uh, what you think of this, uh, and if you want to see uh, any combos with starting with with Civ gear, because I know some people have gotten that for free, some people have coined for it, um, and they're they're trying to optimize you know their setup with Civ gear. So I can also I can also give do some videos on Civ gear as well. But that wraps it up for this video. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe. Helps me out a ton.